Hello YouTube, Voices here, and today I will be presenting to you five different combos for TFT set 4 that I do believe are a little underrated or not having enough uh, spotlight as they should. Uh, those are like really really good comps and I do believe that they will be uh, great when they go live in about around two weeks. Um, after the few hot uh, fixes around for uh, the Dazzle, Ninja and that kind of comp. Um, so those I think needs to have more uh, more gameplays to truly see the potential and the correct way to play it. Uh, but I do believe that those five comps have really good potential uh, if learn how to play correctly and should definitely help you top 4, top 1 when this goes live. Uh, please like the video if you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or other comps uh, that we can fury craft and test on stream. Uh, and here it goes. So the first one is Divine Brawler with Warwick Carry. Uh, I do believe that Divine like has the potential to be really really good just because of uh, the true damage uh, that he does. Um, so it's actually kind of insane now that you like think about it. Attacking six times or being attacked or being below I think it's 50% half. Then there's sand, they gain stats and then they do only true damage for the rest of the combat. Uh, if you just think about it, that should be like potentially really, really good, right? Um, the best champion to do that is Warwick. Why? Because he's also a brawler and I do believe that he's also a hunter. Um, so brawler will give him a lot of HP to play with so he can't die very quickly. And hunter will make sure that he targets the lowest enemy fear the AoE and do maximum damage with his attack speed and his ability. Uh, so he definitely has the ability to carry in this comp. Uh, you just have to make sure that you make him as tanky as possible, which is why you need those items. This is basically a more low for tank, which is really, really good in this set. Um, so yeah, if you do have some brawlers and some uh, divine uh, in the start of the game, I would really recommend going for this comp to just to try it. Uh, it is something I do believe that has a lot of potential. Uh, I need to test it more myself on PBE. Um, but definitely watch out for this comp. Second one is uh, Dusks and Mages. So there is, it's basically any variance of mages I do believe will be really good. We just need to find the right one. Uh, there is obviously the six mages that are really good. There is also the Elderwood mages. Uh, this is the Dusk version where actually the carries are Vagar and Riven. Uh, Vagar can be your carry if you find him early. If you find him early enough, he's just gonna gain AP and AP and AP and by stage 5 or 6, uh, you will have around 900 AP, which is insane. Uh, because of the 3 uh, mages, he will also double cast, meaning he will just kill 2 people every time he ults. So the only thing that you have to care about is basically him ulting. Uh, so you, that's why I put a blue buff here. You can even put a Shojin if you want him to cast faster. Uh, but the other damage here would be your Riven uh, with Ionic Spark to decrease the magic resist of everyone around. And have a solid front line with Ikarium Trash, having a stun with Cassiopeia, making sure the Vegar stays alive with Lulu and Lilia putting everybody to sleep. Uh, that's the idea of the comp. I do believe that it is really good. I got third with it uh, yesterday uh, when I tried it, when I could. Um, and you to play it more. Uh, the fact that you rely on finding a 5 cost means that you have to fast 8 for this comp. It is much, much easier in this set to find uh, 5 cost just because of the changes on uh, in the shop. Uh, so relying on a 5 cost for a comp is actually uh, viable, I do believe. Um, 
so that's something to be uh, really good about. It has Mystic, it has a good front line, you have a back line damage and a front line damage. Um, overall, really good. And I mean, gaining an additional 60% spell power on the Raven or Vega, that's already almost executing everyone. Um, has a lot of potential to share. The next comp that I've actually only seen once uh, and got second. Uh, was six duelist. Um, so it is. It is also really good. Uh, I don't. There is not much to say about it. Um, your carries are definitely Kalista and uh, Yon. Uh, you need to put Yon as it is so he gets the uh, shit for exile and the hundred percent life steal, which is to me insane. Um, but your primary carry that you will really focus on first is Kalista. Everything that has a bow, you put it on her. Those are the three best item for her, for sure. It has been tested. It's the most OPB that you can do. Uh, the fact that she will have 30% attack, attack speed eight times uh, with the Rage Blade, she will kill people, okay? She just needs to be able to survive long enough to kill everything. Um, Shen can help do that, Lee Sin can kick some people, Yan can also execute if Kalista doesn't kill. Um, so overall, uh, really, really strong. Uh, Adept is helping also reducing the attack speed of everything th uh, that they have. Here you can have even some true damage uh, with a 20% bonus. Uh, so really, really strong comp, didn't see it a lot, but when it did, it was working. So I would like to try it more and you should too because it's really underrated and I do believe that with the right positioning and the right items it can carry you. Uh, then we need to talk of course about high parole moonlight. Uh, so I mean the goal this is super simple you go to level 5 you hire parole Diana, Lysandra Liar, Silas, and Pike. You free star everything here. That's that's literally it. You free star everything. Once you have those three stars right here, you're looking to find Akali, uh, which will be your main carry. By that time, if you have all the three stars, you can have um, maybe an item on Silas or Aphelios, maybe. Um, if you didn't find him, here he is. That can be also your carry. Depending on what you find, uh, you need a Diana for the assassin buff. Um, so, the goal here is to basically get a four star unit, right? Uh, to haggle your carry. Uh, Alphelios works really, really well with AD, so I really recommend Deathblade and maybe something like IE. Um, that is, if you don't get uh, the Lysandras or Dianas, or maybe the Silas either. Uh, would though I would recommend having a strong front line and so size is kind of necessary. Once you get your uh, three moonlights online with three stars, then you can get your four star online. You go for Akali, you go to level seven, you add Talon in, and you three star Akali. Uh, that's the way I've seen it play that usually works. Uh, and it is pretty good. Four stars in it are good. Uh, so it's not as broken as a three star four cost, uh, but it should definitely carry you uh, to top four. Uh, and I don't see it being played a lot just because um, it is not a defined way to play it yet. But I do believe that the four assassins with Akali carry is the way with any four star that you can have, either Aphelios, Silas to the front line. Uh, that you can have a uh, really really good build and the last one is sharpshooter uh, so again this is a bit I didn't see a lot but is in theory really really good um, so basically you just want uh, your gunslayer that's basically what it is right gunslayer um, to do a lot of damage, your carry has to be Jin, of course. 
Uh, Nidalee and Timo should carry you to the early game pretty easily. You can transfer those items onto Jin later. Jinx can help as well. You have Mystic and Zillion to make sure the Jin can carry you a lot. Meaning that you can have maybe a Giant Slayer on him. You don't need a Guardian Angel because your Zillion is here. You can also do, do this because actually there's no Blitz in this set. So you can corner your carries pretty easily. You can Zillion uh, the Jane. You can have the Yumi helping as well. So um, yeah, really, really good comp. And actually I just stopped for with this comp uh, previously uh, to record this video. Uh, so something to try. You also have Codis for an additional frontline. Sejuani is a really good uh, tank. You can even have a Morello. Uh, to make sure you have enough damage with the Jin and the stun to kill everything. Um, yeah, really good comp. Not played a lot, but um, it has potential for sure. Uh, but that's it for this video, guys. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any other comps uh, that needs to be photographed and tested. I will be happy to do so on my stream. Um, but yeah, that is it for... For this one, guys, I will see you guys next time.